Does Teams help you with you making the day easier? Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Do you enjoy Teams? Oh. <laughs> Does it make your life a little easier, bud, too? <laughs> Who would I want to donate to Teams? Everyone. Um, because it does awesome things for this valley. Um, the very first part of a person's life is just like their, their launch into life. And um, they don't just support the kid through that launch, they support the whole family unit. Um, so parents have the opportunity to learn how to talk to their kids and how to manage challenging behaviors and, um, and just have support. Like there's other parents that you can talk to here and um, you know, find connections with. Teams has those early learning sessions that you know my kiddo can go to and he's been going since he was uh, two months old and he's two almost almost two years after he started coming now they have the the garden project where there's a whole bunch of moms who come and or even dads some dads come and help out putting this adult garden together um, to grow food and teach kids about growing food do you want up here <laughs> no you want to stay down um, and I found wonderful connections through that. Um, a lot of like-minded people and just supportive people in general. When you're like a brand new parent, you have no idea what you're doing, pretty much. Um, they've been a really great resource for us. Um, because when we showed up, Joy jokes around because one of the first things she remembers us telling her is we, pulled, we, we came in with this two-month-old baby and it was an evening session, so it was really quiet and we got to talk to her about what Teams is and um, how the program works and um, we told her we were like so we have him and I'm going back to work and um, we we're really nervous about leaving him with anyone else because we don't have we did, at the time we didn't have any family support in town really um, and it's a little scary it's scary leaving your your brand new baby with somebody and so we're holding him and the very first thing she, she took him out of our arms and she was just cuddling him and talking to us about the program and that was reassuring because seeing her interact with him was really great um, but uh, we told her, you know, you know, we don't know a whole lot about this parenting thing. We know he likes the color red, you know, and he likes lights. So she jokes with us about that because that was like, not the full extent of our parenting knowledge, but pretty demonstrative of our knowledge. Um, and I just feel like um, we've grown as a family unit and, and he's grown a lot through going to teams. Um, because it's more than just like care. They're not just taking care of him, they're teaching him, they're teaching us um, as we go along. And um, I think a lot of people when it comes to parenting learn their parenting skills from their experience, so like maybe how they were parented. And um, sometimes those are you know, things they don't want to replicate, but you don't really have a new blueprint without seeing it somewhere else. Um, so I've gotten the opportunity through here and a couple other resources to get to know some other strategies and how I would want to parent him. Since he started coming at two months old, um, I've gotten involved with teams more than just him coming. He used to come like once a week just for one session. Um, it's what we needed in terms of our work schedules and so that really was really, really helpful. Um, but also I ended up getting involved with the parent advisory board and fundraising and lots of fundraising. <laughs> We've done so many different projects to, to um, keep the project afloat because um, it's so important to our family and to the community because it's a quality program. Um, it shows what every childhood, early childhood education program should look like, I believe. Um, it's a really great model in that way. Um, but keeping it going, it's a nonprofit and so it relies on um, those donor dollars and um, and fundraising dollars. We've fundraised at the Gorge, and we've fundraised, you know, bake sale, and we've fundraised the sock hop, and we've fundraised the carnival, and um, so it feels like we're always, <laughs> always in this cycle of okay, we did this project, we raised this money, okay, what's next? Because we got to keep raising money to keep it going, um, and so we really, really do need um, the support of donors and um, people who really believe in the program because um, it needs it to survive, but also because our community needs 
it. it to, our community needs teams or something like teams um, to, to grow in terms of early childhood education.